Hey, how's it going guys? It's me Orange here and it's been a while since I've uploaded mainly due to school. So um, today we're going to be doing another scripting tutorial. Again, this was uh, suggested. So if you would like a tutorial, please do direct message me in my discord or tag me in a um, server or comment down below. Anything's really fine, but yeah, so recently school has started, um, it's gotten a little busier, um, I can't really do anything until 3.30, uh, right now it's, uh, Saturday, so I decided to go ahead and make a video for you guys, so that you guys don't get too bored. Now, this tutorial is actually fairly, um, I would say interesting, uh, because of what I plan doing. Now, before we do start, I want to tell you guys that every tutorial I make is from scratch, so do expect errors and everything like that. So I never actually make anything beforehand and like copy it because that's just boring. As a scripter, you should be able to just straight up make something you want. So let's go ahead and open up Studio. Now, thank you guys for re almost reaching 600 and uh, I'll try to upload more often for you guys because I know you guys do enjoy this kind of content. Alright then. So um, today we're going to be learning how to do a walk on water script. Now this is really interesting honestly. Overall this is uh, extremely interesting actually. Now um, what I'm going to do is tell you this beforehand. Make sure the entire map is complete. All right, one hundred percent. Make sure it's complete. All right. If you don't make it complete, then uh, it's, it's gonna be hard. But please do make sure it's completely, completely complete. All right. This is mainly because you're gonna be moving a lot of stuff, and it'll become really messy. So first things first. Let's go ahead and add a folder, and this folder we're gonna call it Water Parts. Now, water parts, all right, just just make sure you have a folder. Next, say we were, all right, let's, let's go ahead and use terrain water because I, I know a lot of people use terrain water and they would like to like walk on top of it and it's pretty cool. So um, let me find the editor. Here we go with, uh, all right, this looks absolutely weird. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, here, there we go, that's better. Alright, I, I don't know, I actually do not know how to remove this, which is hilarious. Um, do not ignore water. Size is off. Just completely get rid of that. Next thing, what do you want to do? You probably have something like surrounding this, alright? I understand that you guys have, probably do have something surrounding this, like a, a grass or something. So basically the idea is just to walk on top of the flat surface right right and all right that should be fine okay um here i'll make myself little stairs and there all right now this is our thing go ahead move the part on top of the water since it's completely flat i suggest using a, a nice square um all right and what you want to do is cover this up all right cover the water up now you want to try to only cover up the water uh, the more you make it precise the better it will be and basically call this um, water part all right so um, don't name it water parts but part all right no no um, no uh, fishy um, naming all right just just make sure it's water part next you want to make it completely transparent and anchored can collide is false all right so again make sure it's anchored and not can collide and put it inside water part all right so i love doing this but basically what we're going to be doing is abusing the um ability where the client actually um can do whatever uh they want without the server changing it now if the server changes it 
everything changes. Every player will be able to walk on water. And we don't want that. We only want that for the local player. So to start off, what you want to do is just get your normal variables down. And um, you want to make sure you have the character down. Now, I'm not 100% sure these are going to be used, but uh, let's just go ahead and uh, assume. And then we want the water parts, the folder, local water parts equals workspace dot water parts. All right. And we also want to, let's let's make this key bind. All right. Um, as many of you want to do this jutsu, and that's fine. Um, it works. And uh, you can just set a key. And our key will be V, all right? And user input service. Now we did this many times before. Now basically, this will, anything under here will run when there is an input, all right? But we don't want that. We only want the V. So we gotta check the input. So if input.keycode is, um, equal to enum that key code key then all right continue only when the um input is correct next just do if is typing then return n on top so if you're doing anything with guis it will just not run all right all right um so at this point what we want to do is make a function and many of you guys don't do this but i actually do uh, functions are great. So you just start off with local function um, change water or walk on water. Also, you're going to need one more variable called walk on water equals false. All right. And walk on water. Uh, and what this is going to do is loop through our water parts. Um, part in pairs water parts get children all right do now make sure you only have the water part inside the um, thing you can add more all right this will work for all part dot ink dot can collide equals true all right now this is simple and buggy so you guys will have to make correct changes and yeah so not walk on water. So let me rush this. And there we go. Now if not walk on water. So if not walk on water then walk on water. And basically just set walk on water to true and walk on water to false. Next, just do what else? Walk on water, uh, just not walk on water. There we go. Um, and yeah, and that's really it. Um, and just go ahead and copy this down and let's go ahead and test it out. So our key is V, now, yeah, I don't know what's exactly wrong. So we're gonna do some changes. Walk on water. You're just gonna do this. And let's do a walk on water equals true. All right, sorry guys for the interruption. Um yeah, this is why I do not want to um make videos mainly because of the interruptions, but uh yeah. So just go ahead and do this. False. False. I right, just add one to it so that uh, everything's good. Should be fine. All right. Let's get started. Just copy that down and let's go ahead and test this out. Now, um, I'm just going to quickly check something. All right, it works. Perfect. 
Alright, so as you can see, I can walk in water, but if I press V, uh, there we go. Now I'm walking on water. And this is really how they do it. Uh, you can add particles, whatever you want. And if I press V again, I'll fall inside the water. Press V again, I'm going to be stuck. But that's the buggy thing. So you guys got to change it. Alright, so if I press V again, I'll fall. Jump and press V. And yeah, that's it's a pretty cool feature. And this is actually how developers actually do it. Some of them actually do it um, differently with a lot of math. Um, math mathematical uh, calculations and then stuff but this is the most simplest way to do this all right so and that's really it for today thank you guys for watching go ahead and copy this code um make sure every single letter capitalization is the exact same and yeah you guys can change this key to whatever you want um make sure it is capitalized though Alright, and that's really it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hopefully, I will be able to make more tutorials. But yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. You don't own